Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many ASP.NET MVC developers encounter when deploying their applications to Azure. Our viewer is facing a challenge with the default Azure 403 error page. They want to know how to replace it with a custom error page that redirects users to a specific endpoint when they fail to provide a valid client certificate. All right guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. To replace the default Azure 403 error page, we need to configure the web.config file correctly. Let's start by ensuring that the HTTP errors section is set up, up properly. In your current configuration, you have defined error handling for several status codes, but not specifically for 403. Make sure to add the 403 error handling as shown. Next, it's important to check if the user is being blocked before the web config is processed. This can happen if the client certificate validation fails. If the issue persists, consider using Azure Application Gateway or Azure Front Door to manage error responses more effectively. Finally, after making these changes, test your application again to see if the custom 403 error page is displayed as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, Azure does not support replacing the default 403 error page. However, there is a workaround using deployment slots. For more information, you can refer to the feedback post from the app service team. You can also explore a Stack Overflow post that discusses the workaround using deployment slots. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're seeing a 403 error on your Azure website, it might not be running. There are three common reasons for this. First, check if you've hit your billing limit, which could disable your site. Next, verify if the site has been manually stopped in the Azure portal. Lastly, confirm if you've reached a resource quota limit, especially in free or shared modes. Make sure to check the Azure portal for any of these conditions to resolve the issue. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.